This is the Rosh de Bridges and it's time to go urban exploring. But I must warn you, this video contains some shockingly awful music. Because it's Medway Council's awful Dickens Festival today. Oh, I really can't stand these annoying festivals Medway Council do. These festivals, this is what Medway Council likes doing. It tracks in loads of tourists, but Medway Council aren't interested in any real heritage. Anyway, let's take a look at these bridges. And you can see there's three bridges here. The Train Bridge, the 1970 Bridge, and you know, there's the 1914 Bridge. But if you look at a map, you can see there's pavements each side of the two road bridges. And the two pavements in the middle are not used at all, despite how busy these bridges are. So then, let's cross over to the not used pavement on the 1970 bridge. And it's really weird because no one ever goes over here. And if we look over here, there's a covered walkway. I didn't even know this was here. It's just so weird, these bridges are so busy. So many people go there, but no one ever goes into the middle two pavements because you can't really get anywhere on these pavements. It's just so weird. These bridges have a lot of secret areas to be revealed. It's really weird, this covered walkway. I mean, when it's raining, I'd really like a covered walkway to walk across this bridge, but I know everyone has to walk across in the rain. And this walkway is completely locked up. And at the end, you can see there's electricity cables going into this walkway. So weird to have a covered walkway spanning the whole distance of the bridge just for electricity cables. And if we walk along to the end of the bridge, we can see the electricity cables coming into the covered walkway. And over here... Ooh, what's that sound? Awesome voice! Oh yeah, just listen to that. Totally awesome. I'd much rather listen to that any day than the awful music at a Dickens festival. Anyway, let's carry on looking across these bridges. On to the 1914 bridge. And here they have an awesome original lamppost. Because this bridge is not owned by the council or the government. It's owned by the Rochester Bridge Trust. Which is a really good thing. Because if this bridge was owned by the council, this lamppost would, of course, not have survived. Okay, let's carry on up this bridge. And over here we can see that weird walkway. Hello! And up here we have a locked gate because this pavement on the 1914 bridge is closed. You are not allowed to walk on this pavement. And up here we have another really nice old lamp. This one was replaced in the 1950s but it's still totally awesome. Okay, let's see what's beyond this gate. The closed walkway. Okay, now let's walk around it. Yeah, mmm. Yeah, walking around it and across this barrier and on to the closed walkway. Ooh, I'm not supposed to be here. Good, I like going where I'm not meant to. Right, let's see what secret areas we can find. Going along and what's this? Looks like some step things to get over the railings. Oh, warning! Trespassers not allowed on this platform. Oh, come on. Vast is asking for it, isn't it? Do you really think I'm going to obey this sign? Really? And we go across onto the wooden walkway. Hmm, interesting. There's a pipe going across it. And here I am on the wooden walkway. And that sign did not stop me, did it? This is quite interesting. I'm not really sure how secure this wood is. And I'm currently at the middle legs of these bridges. And here's a trap door down to the walkways on the underside of the bridges where the legs are. But stupid padlock! Oh, I can't get down there. Looking between the wood and... Oh, this walkway looks really fun. There's another walkway down there. This looks really fun to explore. I'd so like to go down there. Oh... Ah, oh dear. I so much would like to go and see what's down there. Okay, let's come on walking along this bridge. And this pipe appears to be a learner. Okay. That's a bit random. Come on walking along this bridge. And I really am not sure how secure these, these wooden sleepers are. And here's that really weird undercover walkway carrying electricity cables. I still think it's so weird I've actually got an undercover walkway just for the electricity cables. Okay, carrying on and along to the Rochester leg of the bridges. And this trapdoor is also LOCKED! Ah! Oh, oh, come on, I really want to see the underside of these bridges and down to the legs. Oh, this is the best bit of it and they've locked it! Oh, and if we look down here, I'll oh, just look at that ladder and those walkways. It looks so fun to explore. So annoying. I really want to get down there. And, oh, another warning that trespassers are not allowed on this platform. And I'm just going to ignore this one as well. Okay, let's go on looking and see if we can get down to any other parts of the bridges where I'm not supposed to go. 
and along here we can see this long metal pipe going across the bridge is made by Stanton and Stavely. Awesome! Okay, and here we go along to the end of the platform. Hey, and over here we can see another area where the pipe goes down to where the electricity cables go down to. There's lots of weird little areas to these bridges. When you first look at these bridges, it's a bit boring, just some road bridges. What's so special about these? But when you actually look closely, you can see all these secret bits. And up here we have some more really nice 1950s lights. And here we can see a lock gate over there. And behind it, the Dickens Festival. Yeah. Now we go along and take a look at this area of the bridge. Down here we can see the electricity cables. We can also see the door up into the covered walkway. But notice there's no steps up to this door. There's something odd about this undercover walkway. Okay, let's cross over the road. This is where there used to be a subway under the road. But what's really, really odd about this subway? Is it only went halfway across? So you'd go into the subway, walk under one half of the dual carriageway, then you'd come up and you'd have to then cross over on the surface the other half of the dual carriageway. It was a completely ridiculous, stupid tunnel, this. And now Medway Council have filled it in. Although it was a bit of a stupid tunnel, it still seems to be a waste of infrastructure to actually go and fill in these tunnels. And up here we have a really nice 1950s Westinghouse signal. They are currently replacing these old signals and I'm hoping to get one for my museum. Because the modern doorman signals are not really anywhere near as interesting. And down here we have the old walkway down to where the subway used to be. Mmm, it looks rather overgrown now. Not many people go down here. Mmm, this bit looks rather overgrown and grotty. Let's see if there's any secrets of the bridge up here. Uh, so, wading my way through all the plants and through here and a gate. And through here we can see the river, but this bit's completely locked up and I can't see there's any way through to any more secret areas through here. But at least we do get to see what underneath the bridges look like. And we can, and if you look here, you can see underneath the railway bridge, there's some walkways underneath which look really interesting. And we can also see there's also a couple of ways underneath the 1970 road bridge and now going back along back up to the bridges again and oh no just listen to its awful music <laughs> Oh dear, that is bad. Okay, let's carry on walking along, alongside the railway. And along here, underneath the arches of this railway, used to be some shops. They actually rented out these arches to various businesses. And now we go along to the coach station. And oh, it looks quite grotty over that side. And looking at the coach station, just look at all these people turning up to Medway Council's crappy Dickens Festival. Oh dear, I'd much rather be urban exploring the bridges and looking around an awful Dickens Festival. Okay, let's go looking around this area around the coach park. And there's quite a few grotty areas around here. This bit's rather overgrown. And there are quite a few nice old lampposts. Quite grotty doesn't seem that interesting here though. So let's go back to the bridges. And back over to the strewed side of the bridges. And here's a little area going down to underneath the bridges on the strewed side. This is another bit I'm not supposed to go. It's all boarded up with Harris fencing. But hey, Harris fencing is not going to stop me now, is it? So you go through the Harris fencing, walk around the bridges in this abandoned concrete area, through some more Harris fencing, and along to this spooky area underneath the bridges. Hmm, I'm not meant to be here, even more reason. So now we can take a more closer look at the weird covered walkway. Now, and what's this? Bueno? That sounds a bit too much like Benno. I'm going to sue whoever did that graffiti for infringing my trademark. Okay, that's a bit random. Mmm, some nice 1970s grotty concrete. Just how I like it. And rather look at all the twee, quaint bits of Oshta. No, I prefer some nice grotty 60s, 70s concrete. And up here we can see the covered walkway. And here's the door to get into it. And there's no steps up to it. So, is this door unlocked? So let's take a look. Nope. Oh. Okay, that was disappointing. And looking through this bit looks interesting. Sadly, this gate's locked. Up here, you can what appears to be the wooden walkway. But this is a different bit, because notice it's lower down on the bridge than it is in the bit where I was walking. And I've just realised I never had a look at this bit of the walkway, because immediately when I went on the walk, carried on walking across the bridge, which means I've missed a bit. And here we can take a look underneath the bridges. And you can see there's three legs to these bridges in the river itself. There's the strewed side legs, the middle legs, and the Rochester side legs. When I was walking across that wooden walkway, I only took a look at the trap door on the middle legs and on the Rochester side legs. I never took a look to see what there was on the strewed strewed side legs and also if we look here we can see that the strewed side legs are bigger than the middle legs and the rushed side legs 
That is weird. And there appears to be some room or something in this leg. So let's go back on to the 1914 ridge and go back to the wooden walkway. And here I am back on the wooden walkway where I'm not supposed to be. And let's take a look around the other side this time. You can see the wooden walkway goes down a level where the strewed legs for the bridges are. And here's a ladder. No lock trap door, no padlocks or any crap. No, I can get down this ladder. Let's take a look at what's down there. And this ladder was a bit scary because right next to me, you actually got the river right down below it. Hmm, if I slipped on this ladder, I could have fallen in the river. This was a bit scary. Okay, here I am down the lower wooden walkway. At last, I'm getting into some really nice, good urban exploring areas on these bridges. And here's the pipe, and here we can see underneath the bridges. And over here we can see the middle legs of the bridges, and behind that, the Rochester legs of the bridges. Oh, this area looks interesting. And above me is the wooden walkway on the 1914 bridge, and we can also see here that weird undercovered walkway. But this sign seems to date back to before the 1970 bridge was built because before the 1970 bridge was a second railway bridge because the 1970 bridge is not a complete bridge it was actually built on top of the legs of the old railway bridge because for some reason there used to be two railway bridges here that was quite a long time ago because there used to be some weird big depot thing there used to be quite a few big depots actually around the railways in England but most of these depots are all being removed now because not so much freight sent by trains anymore okay now let's go back along to this area and there's another ladder heading downwards Hmm, this looks rather dangerous down here. This looks quite interesting down here. So down I go, down the ladder I go, and here I am, right down at the river level. Yes, I've managed to get down to some of the service walkways down below the bridges. Yes, right then, hmm, what's down here? And here we can have a nice look at what's underneath the bridges. And here we have the ladder going back up to the wooden walkways up above. I'm currently right down below the 1970 bridge. It's actually really interesting down here. Especially since no one ever comes down here. I've got the whole place to myself. A whole secret area of these bridges that not many people know about. And this walkway is kind of wobbly. So that is a bit scary. So if we look back at the middle legs, you can see these legs are just plain legs for the bridges. They're quite narrow, just there to support the bridges. But... If we take a look at where I am now, which is the strewed side leg, look how big it is. There seems to be some sort of secret room in this leg. Could this be a, some sort of nuclear bunker for the council? Because back then it wasn't Medway Council, it would have been Rochester Council. Is there some sort of nuclear bunker they've hidden in the legs of these bridges? Because there's nothing about this anywhere on the internet. Because on the internet people recorded where all the bunkers are. And there's no bunker listed here. And if we look up here, some steps going upwards and, and into this leg of the bridge. But I've discovered something here, I don't know what's in there. But this is one very thick leg, far thicker than what a leg needs to be simply to support the bridge. So, let's climb up this ladder and take a look at what's in this room. And up I go, and very tricky actually trying to try and get some pictures holding onto my Android without dropping it while holding onto the ladder. But, sadly, the gate at the top of this ladder is locked. I couldn't get in and see what was in this secret room. That's a shame because it really looks like there's something interesting in here. And I really do think there's some sort of control bunker for what was rushed to council with as a nuclear strike or something. That's what I reckon. And now, if we take a look at next to this ladder, there appears to be a walkway heading around this bridge leg. There could be another entrance into this weird room on the other side of the bridge leg. No, that's going too far. No, I couldn't do that. Oh, no. Look how narrow that ledge is. I could easily slip and fall into the river. And it's not the water in this river that's dangerous because I can swim. This water's freezing cold and it's a very fast flowing and dangerous river. Oh no, that's going too far. I can't walk around that. But I can't go back when I've got this far. So despite my better judgment, I walked around this narrow walkway. And oh, this is narrow and it's not at all safe. And this handrail which you hold on to, which I don't think is meant to be a handrail. I think it's meant to be where you clip on your harness to as you walk around. And I'm not wearing a harness. So what I'm doing is not at all safe whatsoever. And by the way, to anyone watching, I do not recommend you attempt to do what I'm doing here. Because what I'm doing is not at all safe. And I actually walked around here on this narrow ledge holding on to this handrail. Which is covered in bird poo. Because all the birds start to sit above the bridge pulling down onto the handrail. But I couldn't let it go, not on this narrow ledge. Meaning I've got bird poo all over my hands all of my clothes I really regretted doing is because when I got to the other end there was no entrance into the bridge leg room all of that effort 
And there was no second entrance. I was so convinced if I went round the other side of a bridge leg, there'd been unlocked entrance into the bunker. But there isn't. Oh, all that effort and all that bird poo for nothing. But still, it's quite interesting to have seen what was round the side of this bridge leg. And I'm currently holding it with one hand, filming with the other hand. I do not feel safe here at all. And up here we can get a good view of the train bridge. Now this is a view that not many people get to see. A view from the drood leg of the 1970 bridge looking up at the train bridge. Not many people get to see this view. If you look here we can see that awful narrow ledge that I walked across to get here. And that is the end of the video.